Hi, this is Ted. Back in 1988, I was in Africa, and I was talking about Jimmy Swaggart with somebody. And what I was saying is, you know, so often I see people who uh, talk a lot about an issue, preaching against it, when in fact they're struggling with that issue. They tend to focus on the issue that they are struggling with. And I said in the same breath, but I don't think Jimmy Swigert would be like that. I knew Jimmy Swigert talked a lot about fornication. He called rock music, Christian rock, the fornication of gospel music. And I read a book uh, by him, or I saw one, I should say, in, in a Brussels, Belgium bookstore. Uh, so I was looking through the English section and a few French books as well, but I was looking through especially the English section and there was Jimmy Swaggart's book, and oh my, and it was on pornography. <laughs> I thought, okay, he talks a lot about pornography. But uh, I thought, no, he wouldn't. Why did I think that he wouldn't have the issue? Well, you see, Jimmy Swaggart has a huge ministry, and I, at that time, I believe it was the, the largest ministry on TV there was. And I thought, you know, nobody in their right mind is going to endanger their ministry when it's that big. They're going to want to protect it. They're going to want to make sure that they're living a good life before God and before people in order to protect their ministry. Well, one week later, one week after my discussion with my friend, uh, I heard that Jimmy Swigert uh, had been weeping before the nation on TV. <laughs> I have sinned. Well, it turns out that he was visiting a prostitute. Ah, so he had problems with fornication. All right, I began to develop a theory, and I call it looking through the beam, looking through the log. Jesus said, don't try to take the speck out of somebody's eye unless you get the log out of your eye first. People with logs in their eyes see it everywhere. They see it in other people. They struggle with it. And because they struggle so much with it, they like to talk about it. They like to preach about it. Ted Haggard preached against homosexuality. And it turns out Ted Haggard had a problem with homosexuality. Years ago, I was counseling a woman, and she saw affairs and everybody around her. And it turns out, after we were talking, she had an affair. And that affair so bothered her that she began seeing it in everybody else. All too often, we look and we see our own issues and we project them on other people. Preachers will preach against that issue. So lately, the prophets, I, I, I don't know what else to call them, the fake prophets, I suppose, the ones who claim to be prophets, people like Kenneth Copeland, and so many, so many others. One by one, they're preaching against and trying to help people overcome fear. Because fear will ruin faith in their thinking. And I wasn't thinking much about that. I just keep on running across all these things. But also to dawn on me, I think they're looking through the beam. They have a problem with fear. And what is the fear that they are dealing with? And I'm not going to say that they're giving into it, but they're struggling with it. All right. My, I have several theories about what they could be struggling with, but uh, pretty much I think the main one is they're all out on a limb. They're all saying, thus saith the Lord, Donald Trump will be the next president. This is very exact. And I have said this before, that if you want to make sure that your prophecies don't get trashed by your following and that you don't expose yourself as a fake prophet, keep those very general. Something that people can look at and see different meanings in. 
so that if your meaning didn't come through, something else might be seen. God will prosper you. Well, sure, how is he going to prosper me? There's a lot of different ways of prospering. See, that's a good one. But to say something like Donald Trump will be the next president is very exact and specific. And that puts them out on a limb. And I do believe they are all struggling with fear. Fear that he might not be the next president. They will not say it, but the fact that they preach so much against fear, I think they are struggling with it. And they believe that by human works, me holding on to faith, I can accomplish this next presidency. And by not having enough faith, it could all fall apart. It's a bad teaching, but I think that's where they're at. And that's all I've got for today. This is Ted. Have a good one.